Hi everybody, sorry it's taking a bit more time than usual, but here we are with video number three of six, nearly halfway, well, I'm not even halfway there because the other three videos are fucking longer than the first three combined. So, uh, this, is, uh, this is yet another clip, and this is a more recent clip than the one of him just simply doing a fucking, you know, a consensus survey of how many gay people and straight people are, you know. Uh, this is, this was, uh, I, I believe this was... Uh, when he was on tour with uh, Jordan Peterson, this was what I was, this is what he was talking about in video number one. Um, so yeah, strap yourself in. Let's see if he's improved ever so slightly. You know they say that we are more divided than ever, right? That's what they say. Whoever the hell they are, they well, they they are you, Dave. Really, aren't they? Let's be honest. You are part of they. You know. I mean, normally when people say they, there's triple parentheses, although you are that dumb that you might not even know what that means. I keep saying it, and uh, I, I don't know that, that I believe it, but I thought... I, I think you do, Dave. In fact, your entire fucking career somewhat hinges on it, doesn't it? Well, the best way I can start this, and it's sort of why I do the show, is to bring people together. But you, but you don't, do you, Dave? You don't bring people together, because you only attack one side... And you constantly, you know, agree with another. You know, fucking flying bastard. You know, and I should take that corpse out of this room. But you know, so 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 you don't. I mean, what what have you brought to? In what way have you? Brought, I mean, you've brought people together in the sense that I mean, your your subreddit is a great example of bringing people together because there's that's people who have hated you always and have owned, and and liked you and now hate you as much as the other people because they've realised you're a fucking you're a Burt from Sesame Street looking fucking grifting chancing prick but they keep telling us that you know we hate each other we're more divided so I thought maybe you guys should look but, 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 you, but you do say that don't you I mean that's what you literally say the left want the left hates everyone you know the the right the, the, the conservatives on the right they are the most tolerant ones it's the left that hate everybody they're the most racist i mean what else is that look around the room and just kind of look and realize how much you hate everybody else <laughs> i mean really take a look at another that's called a laughter of recognition table and just really everyone please don't i'm not just doing this for look really look at each other i mean but you see yeah you hate them and they hate you and I mean, this is what I mean. This is in you know. This is what's supposed to be irony, but you know, when you break it down, I mean, what else? Is, what other reason are they there? What do you exist for? White people hate everybody else, and it's all so. Oh, white people, eh? Oh, yeah, all oh, those whites, or as I call them, everybody in the fucking room. Stupid. Uh, all right, but I thought what I should do actually is take a little poll. Oh, of course, he's got to ask who's in the room, right? But you know, I don't think he's going to go for the who's gay and who's lesbian here. Not in this room. Wouldn't play very well. Read the room. Uh, how many of you? Yeah, Dave. Reading the room does not mean literally asking the room who's in. The term reading the room. Means when you sort of like you fit, you sort of feel it. You know, you 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 get the idea, you get a vibe off it. It's an intangible thing. It's not something that you literally ask for, unless of course you're shit. Who would say that you're conservatives? By a round of applause, how many yeah. conservatives? That's the biggest round of applause he's ever had. But wait. Conservatives always very respectfully you first raise your hand before you applaud. No, they didn't raise their hand. You know, you said by way of round of applause and they immediately started clapping. You know, there might be a geezer out there with one fucking arm, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, conservative, so polite. You see, I, 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 oh, should we clap? Yeah, fuck it, yeah. Yeah, it's really restrained, aren't they? We don't make a lot of noise. Oh yes, conservatives don't make a lot of noise. Yes, the fucking loudest, shoutiest motherfuckers in the media. Conservative, we're conserving the applause. Uh, <laughs> oh, see, conserve, conserve, conserve. Yeah, yeah. Conservatives, that's good. Look, that's great. You know, people with jobs and. Family. There's no jokes here. You'll notice it's just him 
you know, kissing conservatives' ass, you know, and and painting so doing an observation based on the way they want to see see themselves. You know. Please. <laughs> Oh, you're dressed right. I saw you. I could Oh, yes, dressed conservatives. Well known for the, you know, no one else got any fashion sense. Conservatives. Fucking, you know, always on the cutting edge of fucking what's stylish. I mean, I'm one to talk, you know, but. You all out. It's very easy. Oh, well, there's someone who's wearing clothes that fit, probably a conservative. Yes, yes, yes. What We on the left are well known for not knowing wearing clothes that fit. What, what? I mean, how is that a joke? What do you, conservatives well known. You see someone who wears clothes that fit, probably a con. What does that mean? What were you wearing? Were you? Did you have? Did you have like big baggy pants on, like and fucking giant sneakers when you? Did you have like a giant fucking baseball jersey on before you became? No, you are the same shit you're wearing now. Fucking you hollow bone Mr. Bean cosplayer. How many of you, how many of you are libertarian? Libertarian. I see, a bit louder. Sorry, that's the loudest cheer he's ever going to get. Well, he's brought conservatives and libertarians, or two groups, we, as we know, with no crossover whatsoever. You know, I mean, it's only like, you know, the most successful libertarians in any election campaign are always the ones that run for Republicans, aren't they? When was the last time... You know, when, when was the last time we know? When was the last time a libertarian ran as anything other than a Republican or a libertarian? You know, and how many of those people are cheering twice? Because <laughs> I'm a conservative and a libertarian. Oh, there's one person there, fucking getting a bit too overexcited. And it's a very special libertarian there. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yes, he could have made. A very special libertarian there, apparently. Yeah. Libertarian, yes. See, he could have made any joke then. He could have said, oh, look, someone's someone's put a gibbon through a mangle. No, nothing, right? No, creative, no. Just make a subtle hint that that person is is mentally handicapped. Yes, anyone that just applauded, those are the people you can get pot from at the end of the show. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, because cool, cool. you're gonna get. Oh yeah, so I forgot, Dave. You old blaze up the old doobie, didn't you? We forgot. I forgot about that. You know. Yeah, those are the people you get pot from. What most of the room, by the sounds of it. You know. Now, now, can you see where he's going with this? He's asked conservatives, libertarians. Now, who, who's the last person? And and what do you think reaction he's going to get? There's a soy joke coming, isn't there? Just quick sidebar, I went to one of these, you know, I was getting medicinal marijuana for my horrific glaucoma, but then... Uh... See, this is why I've been saying for ages, I don't have a problem with people smoking weed, but weed can no longer be cool. When you've got fucking pensioners like Bill Maher using it as a fucking, as some lame applause line, because, hey, I smoke weed. Woo, good for you, fucking Bill. Well, that's something that literally our grandpa your grandparents did, to be cool. Now this fucking arsehole is trying to fucking get applause lines and make out that he's, you know, that he's fucking Cheech Marine over it, you know. <laughs> Glaucoma, yeah. But now it's legal, I guess, and you just can show up with your ID or whatever. So I went just a couple of days ago uh, to the pot shop, and it is impossible to get weed at a pot shop. Have you been there? We got oil, we got rocks, we got edibles. I was like, you have weed in weed form? Is that even a thing? I mean, I wasn't in college that long ago. Like, if I had a shred, that would be fine. Did, did, you, did you just ask them, Dave? They probably don't leave it out the front, I imagine. And... Um... I mean, you could have just, you know, I'm assuming you did just ask because it would make sense, wouldn't it, that they would have the vials of oil and everything else there, but they would keep the weed out back because if you leave it out front, it's going to smell, you know. Fucking arsehole. Shred, is that... Like, can you get... Is it me or is it impossible? What's the deal with no weed at weed shops? That's literally not a problem. Of course they sell other things, Dave. Uh, 
Alright, so we did conservatives, we did uh, libertarians. Oh god, we did conservatives. I wonder who's gonna be next. How many of you how many progressives? How many progressives? <laughs> oh, did you see that? See um, one person one person clapped there. There was one hand clapping. What is the sound of one hand clapping a progressive at Dave Rubin's got? And that was probably someone just doing it for a laugh. And so so all that stuff you said at the start, Dave about bringing people together. Who you've brought together are libertarians and conservatives. People who didn't need literally bringing together at all in the first place. <laughs> and it, oh yes, yeah, so, oh look, no progress. I wonder why. I'm guessing there are, but I know because of the soy, it's sometimes hard to find. <laughs> uh, I did I say, I said there was a fucking soy joke coming. Did I not? But, uh, but hey, you know what? It's a punchline. Well done, Dave. It's a punch. It's a shit punchline. It makes no sense because the reason no one's clapping is not because progressives are there and they soy doesn't. You know, it's not that they haven't got Blue Kerrick's disease. Soy doesn't make it impossible. Uh, you, know, you know, didn't you say earlier you got loads of emails from people who lit from Japan? What do they take about make about your no soy policy? You know, fucking idiot. So, so all that stuff you said at the start, but you don't bring anyone together. You know, so you failed. So you are literally more divided than ever. <laughs> but a soy joke, that was it. At least it's a, it's kind of, it's very similar to, to, to you know, two other jokes that like, you know, that, that compares normally do, which is if you're doing a joke about smoking and you'll do like who give a cheer for there's normally more non-smokers so they make a lot of noise and then you say who here is a smoker and uh, they and they generally don't, don't make a lot and you make a joke about the fact that they smoke and that and that makes sense or if you're doing it with vegetarians generally you say who here uh, who is a vegetarian it's generally not much of the room and because it doesn't make a loud noise you make a joke about how you know oh look they've barely got enough energy to fuck you know that's you know, but it's like so this is just a variant on that so it's not an original joke you know, I mean, it's not as old as the fucking denial, as the as the river in Egypt one. But it's a punchline. And it got a laugh. So, well done, Dave. Ooh. I'm a little different in company form. Yes, no, you're, you're, you're not really, Dave. I'm a little different in comedy form. Oh, so what have you been this whole other time before that? There's ads coming back. I mean, I used to do this. This is what I did. Okay. Yeah, what? You what? Talk to a room full of fucking glad-handing fanboys who all laugh at literally anything. The most obvious fucking pandering shit you can fucking feed them. Yeah. Why did you quit, Dave? We saw what you used to do. It weren't this. Go, go back and watch video two. That's what you used to do, motherfucker. You used to murder fucking rooms. Like this, you know, on TV and all. I forgot that I'm good at this. All right. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. No one else fucking remembered either. <laughs> so we got uh, not one. Is no one will say it. I mean, we're not going to take shoot you. I mean, we're, oh, we have one. We have one. Take, please take them outside. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You're wrong, but it's all right. <laughs> Yeah, you're wrong. Not anyone else. No, everyone else. We're all like, yeah, but you know, not we're not playing identity politics here. But you know, you know. I think it's great. It's great. That, that motherfucker paid to see you, Dave. Uh, I'll let it be. Okay, so we did. Uh, no, don't let it be, motherfucker. Stop be. Don't be a ballless little bitch. Fucking. You know. Don't be, don't, don't be, don't get cucked because you're too, you know, just fucking, she put her hand up. She ain't scared of you. We did libertarians, we did, how many classical liberals? That's the same fucking people, Dave. That's just libertarian, that's just, that's just libertarians who are, who, who are just full of shit. Or just, that's pretentious, fucking snobby libertarian. <laughs> Same people clapping. What are you in? Are there 5,000 people in this fucking room? And of course, would be my people, otherwise known by the uh, the media as a bunch of racists, big and homophobes. Yes, yes, yeah, no, Dave. No one ever talks about it because only you and for for a brief period, Sargon of a card used the term classical liberal. You know, 
But according to you, that one woman who sat there in the front is a racist, bigoted, homophobe too. So where's your fucking moral high ground, motherfucker? Uh, no one no, laughing. Those are good people who believe in the individual, which is what I believe in all the Which people. is what, exactly what the conservatives and the fucking libertarians that would tell you. That I'm constantly talking about. You know, God's sake. And how many, of course, to, to cap this off, how many alt-right, and you could just do it by a show of hands. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know what, I'll give him, that wasn't bad. You know, you know th that was alright, you know. Um, I mean, it's kind of awkward, but, you know, in that room, that works, you know. I'll give him that. That's a joke. Well done, Dave. That's two jokes. <laughs> See Dave Rubin live. Dave Rubin, God, there's a Dave Rubin dot TV. I, I would fucking go to meatspin.com before. Anyway, so that's the end of video number three.